All right, what's up guys? It's Luke the Tailgating Challenge, and this holiday season, we want to show you a very simple way to make an awesome Christmas drink. And so it's really simple. Let's check it out. This is going to be an infused whiskey. So for you whiskey fans out there, make sure you tune in because this is a super simple way to take a regular bottle of whiskey and bring some Christmas spirit to it. All you need is a bottle of whiskey. Again, you have to take some of it out of the top with what we're going to do. So it can't be a full bottle. So that can be part of the fun, right? Go ahead and maybe drink some of that out of there. And then so you get something that maybe is about 75% uh, full, roughly, depending on how much of this you put in there. So the next things we got to do, we got to chop up an apple and we got to get our cinnamon sticks in there because we're going to make this an apple cinnamon whiskey. Let's get this thing started. All right, guys, we got our apple and cinnamon sticks over here. Make sure the apple's chopped small enough, obviously, to get through the hole. Let's start putting some of that in here and start this infusion process. You can see why you don't want to have the entire bottle filled with whiskey, because otherwise you're going to come out the top. And then with this, we can chop some more apple up and put it in there. So it really is according to taste and how much space you have in your bottle. Fill it up, because obviously you're going to get a ton of awesome flavor that's going to come from that. We're going to let this ferment for uh, almost a week. Is It's kind of a good baseline for that. If it's a couple of days sooner than that, you need it. That should work, but I give it at least three to four days before you do that. Let's check back on this then and see exactly how well this Christmas whiskey turns out. All right, guys, so we've let it marinate now for over a week and it is time to see our creation. So again, here's what we got. Let's take a quick smell and see how it smells. Mm, a lot of apple and cinnamon, <laughs> no doubt, right? It smells great. But now we need to pour it up. And what I recommend, ginger ale is good. Straight up is fine. But the ultimate way is with some cream soda I found for this. So we're going to pour a little cream soda on here and give it a taste test. All right, guys, we've got it. Now for the moment of truth. Wow, that is excellent. Again, this is a drink I really think, it feels really festive to me, but this could be something at any time of the year. If you like some cinnamon and apple and whiskey, this could be the drink for you. I am Luke with Tailgate and Challenge. Check out the website at the bottom of the screen to see all the cool things that we do every single week and follow us on social media because we test stuff and we give it back to you guys at home. But for now, I've got to get a little bit deeper into this awesome bottle of whiskey that we made and you're going to make it home and let us know what you think of it. Cheers, everybody.